Hello, everyone. Hello, hi. hi. It's me, Luke. And you, Ellen. Oh, I just got a notification. Outside Extra is live. Oh, Gosh. cool. Gosh, can this be true? I didn't get that. <laughs> That's YouTube for you, isn't it? YouTube. YouTube's rubbish. I mean, I got, I got, I, I got. Mean, YouTube's a... great. Uh, no, no, no. I got it's a thing being like, hey, there's a new short from Oxventure, and it was a short that was advertising our final episode of the last season that had aired the night before. <laughs> so it was like. YouTube, shame, why are you YouTube. telling me this now? <laughs> anyway, Ellen, Ellen, think of the people yes. watching this on demand. We need to quickly explain what this game is. It's called mm -hmm. The Kraken Wakes. What the mm -hmm. heck is it? Why are we playing it? What's weird about well, it? Well, let's, let's tell you all about it from their website. It's an immersive game oh. featuring groundbreaking conversational gameplay. What? Investigate a mysterious attack on the oceans of planet Earth and discover how your words can shape the story in this exclusive adaptation of John Wyndham's sci-fi horror classic. Wow. Um, but uh, the it's basically the the interesting thing about this game you is that when you NPCs talk to the NPCs, with a microphone. Like you, yeah, and uh, so the Kraken Wakes has been created on Charisma AI Charisma AI's AI powered conversation engine. Okay, so you'll speak to the game's characters and they'll listen and respond to what you say. There are no multiple choice options here. You're free to say what you like and find out how your words will impact the story. All right, good. Let's do it. New game. Let's go. The Kraken Wakes does it. All right, so it's me on the controls. My microphone is plugged in. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, I'm a journalist. Ooh. First, first name. They're going to say it out loud, aren't they? Yeah. So I don't want to choose my name. I want to choose something cooler. <sighs> like... I mean... Jet. Jet, right. Jet Rad. My, oh, doesn't let me do my spaces. My immediate... Jet Rad's w w ...thing worth. is no. like... Yeah. I'm immediately feeling for anyone who doesn't have an easily... Sayable name. name. Fine. I'll like, just go, imagine I'll just all those go. beautiful like I'll go, Luke. I'll Irish can... names I'll... that it's just yeah. not gonna do. Oh, it won't let me put an exclamation mark. I want to always be referred to as Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Checking name. No, that is my name. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hi. Beginning. Welcome. I'm Freddy. Hi, Freddy. I'm Hi, sure Freddy. you're wondering how this works. I am Freddy. Yes. Reply to Freddy. Um. What should we say? I like your jumpsuit. I like your suit. I like your jumpsuit, Freddy. Let's be friends uh, forever. <laughs> Panicked. <laughs> Just had to add the That's forever on there. You. And an interesting choice of opener. All of this. It's conversation. We talk to each other. Let's you give it a try. How's your day been? I'm How's too been, hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's now, I day. get that. I get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will the AI... It's having a thing. Yeah. It's really thinking about it. Are you... It's humid out. To be honest, apart from the grand event of meeting you, mine has been much like any other day. So, that's conversation lesson one completed. Man, we're so good at conversation, Luke, Ellen. We're crushing this. I think this. it's time we get started. Luke. <laughs> Luke. Yeah, Luke. Luke. The Kraken <laughs> wakes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Charisma Entertainment presents... Mm-hmm. They're probably going to sped this bit up a little bit. Here we go! Can Wait. I can give me control? We what? are in an office that is flooded. Yeah. Oh, man. That's bad. <gasps> I'm all Got wet. Got to pick up all the bits of paper. 
Luke, I heard you and the EBC Post team were staying in London. That's brave. We were told it wasn't advised. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's the status of London. Great. So great sadness we announced the closure of the London office. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, you don't want to be in London right now. No. All the roads are shut. Yeah. Why can't I go in here? Because there's a big bit of wood in the way. I thought there's... A big table. I thought this was no multiple choice. I choose to go in here. Fine. Well, well it's no multiple choice when it comes to talking to people. That's okay. it. The rest of the game is just like any other game. Well, there's no one to talk... <gasps> the phone! Can you see a phone? Uh, I think, I think it's on the wall. Uh -huh. Remember wall, wall phones? Yeah. <laughs> ahoy hoy. Not oi oi. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. <laughs> oi oi. Oi oi. It's me. It's me. <laughs> she knew it was you because of, of the oi oi. <laughs> yeah. Luke, are you okay? My ankles are wet and I'm scared. Look at these chord physics. This is great. Chord physics, chord physics, chord. Ah. The Kraken. Well, Thames flood barrier didn't do much, did it? No. Mm. The Kraken wakes. Ooh. <laughs> Oi oi. Hello, folks in chat. Oi oi. Oi oi. Lewis asks, why is it like a hushed whisper? Because the Kraken might hear them. <laughs> oh, the chat's asking me to keep the camera on the subtitles. That's fair enough. But I, I will, as long oh. as there aren't engaging chord physics. How's that? As a... Right, Ooh, yeah. Look. No, that's fair. Look at this, Ellen. Total freedom of gameplay. <laughs> The future is now. I don't. I think that no was just longer programmed. Constrained. I don't. I don't think that was AI. By the Luke. technology of our forefathers. Programmed that. I'm achieving my final form. That was great. Okay, good. Well, we're in the same place as before, but it's not flooded anymore. Mm. Ah, right wicked on time. ribbon in chat. Hello, oh. Freddy. Your name's Luke. Always have a right. Look. Yeah. Nope, you've got the wrong man. Oh. Oh, you're the difficult type. Well, I'll be calling you Luke anyway. Come, I'm calling sit you down. From a payphone to let you know I've quit my job, <laughs> boss Freddy. You sit down. Come on. Uh. Sit oh. down, before the world of journalism grinds to a halt. Well, you've missed the boat there, Freddy. Okay, so, here we go. I know you're new here, and I'm a big scary editor, but news doesn't hang around waiting to be told. It's time we get to know each other, Luke. What sort of things do you like to read? What sorts of things do I like to read, Ellen? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. It's Can true. I have a job, please? I know all the Silmarillion. She's thinking about that. <laughs> oh, fantasy literature isn't really my cup of tea. I prefer more realistic and grounded stories. Do you bother? Like Hemingway or Orwell. Actually, pause on this. We're about to discover what kind of journalist you really are. You see... Phyllis and Mike are away on their honeymoon, Ooh. leaving us rather short-staffed. You do know Mike Phyllis and Mike, right? I can't stand Phyllis and Mike. I hope they never come back. Luke spilling the Phyllis office tea. Phyllis and Mike will be working with you. They're partners in life, crime... And journalism. I doubt even a romantic cruise will keep Phyllis away for long. But they since they're currently out of the just picture, over I've got a job. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. First up, 
Every respectable journalist needs a decent journal. Here, oh, so this oh, is for you. I don't have to Take be in the chair. It. Your new journal? Here we go. Time to... Open it. Journalism Open 101. It. The EBC See Post what I motto. wrote in there. Eyewitness yeah. to the world. I can't read or write. I witness to the world is the BBC <laughs> Post tagline. Me. We pride ourselves on well sourced eyewitness interviews. Amazing and AI. Use your journal to I keep <laughs> track of your assignments and interviews. Now, on to your task. What do you I know think... about fishing? What do we know about fishing, Alan? You choose a response. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you can get salmon in Scotland. You can get salmon in Scotland. <laughs> get salmon everywhere. Oh, well done. You know a fish. If you ask me, unless performed for the act of sustenance, fishing is nothing but a profound waste of time. Bye, anyway, Freddy. <laughs> that's settled then. As you're a fishing expert... You will wait, wait, subtitles, Luke. Our new Sorry. Story. Your first assignment is an interview with a fisherman. Oh, wow. An interview with a fisherman? What a scoop. An interview with a fisherman sounds like a real He's art film. Yeah. Based interview. on April interview Island with the fisherman. in the Pacific Ocean. Lucky you. You're flying me out to the you Pacific. You recently caught a swordfish which fed his entire village. You're, you're sending me... For the me... headline, I'm thinking... So the Pacific... Local legend hooks <laughs> giant swordfish. To interview... What do you think? To interview a man who caught a big swordfish. That I think his entire the village. travel department is wasteful. Well, how about... How about... Instead of that... I've said it now. It has scope to be a nice human interest piece. Disagree. But... It's up to you to snap up some extra juicy car for our readers to give it proper third page potential. I was, I was going to say... Just don't make me regret giving you this gig. What are we going to say? Fishing Here's has the a write-up point. of your brief. Ah. Take it and keep it with you for reference. Ah, oh, precious rogue in chat, but has he caught a string fish? <laughs> yeah. Pick up brief. Okay. <laughs> Find out the secret to his fishing success. I've no doubt you can get out of him. You are a prof oh, you are a prof <laughs> one hell of a paper cut. I've just given you Freddy. <laughs> just slice Freddy's head clean Ling. off. Ling. Shling. <laughs> I want a full breakdown of his secrets on my desk by Monday. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. So we're going to go into a fisherman. What and are we've you got waiting to for? We've get out of my right. office. And get your sea legs on. And we've got to figure out why he's so good at fishing. I do don't... That? Yeah. What do you think of this, Freddy? I mean, she's still got sunlight streaming in through the door, so... Yeah, so I think well, these lights okay. need to be on, Freddy. Yeah. Waste. Save the planet. Yeah, save the planet. Don't be flying your journalist all the way to the Pacific to interview a fisherman who caught a fish. Oh, you caught a fish. Wow. The Kraken wakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. A building. Day one. Okay. Find out fisherman's secrets. There he is. There he is. I feel like we're going in for the stealth kill. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know that bit in Edith Finch? <laughs> and you're the monster. Oh, yeah. What's this? <gasps> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> can, can you I... look? Okay. Can, can you... I... I can sort of pick it up. Can I use it? Can you rotate it? No. Okay. Maybe he'll ask you to pick it up later. Yeah, probably. Right, Ellen, before I go and talk to the to Aldo, what's mm. our world's greatest fisherman self-proclaimed? What's our strategy for getting the scoop? Seduction. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's the way. I think, I think you, you got it in one, yeah. I think it has to be. Okay, Aldo. Reveal your fishing secrets. She must know I have a special guest today. Isn't she beautiful? Uh... Who? Is there a lady in your life, Aldo? Mother Nature, she knows how oh. to make a fisherman happy. Mother, Just he's look dating at that Mother sun. Nature. Look at that sun. No, no. Don't actually look at the sun. You'll burn your eyes. Your colleague Freddy assured me you are very competent on a fishing boat. And the best way to learn about fishing is to get up close and personal with the fish. I shall put you to work. How did you do it, Aldo? How did you catch you the great big fish? Whilst I look for our next fishing spot. How did you do it? Grab How did you do it? The there. Grab his shoulders and shake him. Tell me, Aldo, how did you get that great what? big swordfish? Wait, is he doing the... Don't be squeamish. <laughs> they did most of them. All right, Aldo, I'll play your game. What do I do? Grab a fish. Get a fish. Just Grab a fish. For your readers. Fish. Sense Caress fear. him with the fish. Remember that. Look. Now move it over to the scale and weigh it. Aldo, you look oh, hot. Oh, Aldo, it's good. you're sweating on this hot day. Let oh, me. It cuts through its Wait, wait. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Aldo, you're sweating on this hot day. Let me cool you down. Wait. It's a, you're making a merman. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, look, look. And then, oh, it's like a beard. <laughs> How did I catch the big fish? Easy. I am I one. Am a fish. <laughs> All right, I'll weigh your fish. I'm the best journalist in the world. Freddy was right about you. You really are a fishy person. <laughs> so, what do your readers want to know about me? Um. Maybe we could discuss the story over dinner. Okay, resounding silence. Splendid idea. Let's head to the tavern and share some fresh catch. Oh. Ocean, <gasps> fish and modern nature. What more could I need? It works. Grab another fish Yay. for those skills, my friend. High five. <laughs> right, another fish. Now put it on the scale. I'll put it on the scale, Aldo. Another fishtastic specimen. Modern nature rewards us again. Fish what else do you want to ask me? Fishtastic. What else do you want to ask me? Um. Uh. What do we do? What do we do now? He's already committed to a how, dinner date. How are your eyes so? Lovely. That's good. Something like that. That's yeah. Good. How are your eyes? How are your eyes so beautiful? How are your eyes so beautiful, Aldo? No, not beautiful, old. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? How do I stop? How do I not send? No, 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 no. I need, I need the timer to not get out. What do I do? 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 Press escape. Nope, that didn't work. Resume game. Oh no, that did work. Okay. Okay. Good. Nobody panic. The date is still on. Alright. What else do you want to ask me? Tab. People are saying tab. Tab uh, is... Uh... Technology is a tricky thing. But don't worry. Focus on a good catch. What bait did you use? If only I was more than nature, then I would have all the answers. What's he on about? Oh! What's that? The Kraken! It wakes! Look! Up in the sky. What's happening? Oh! My love for you burns brighter than a meteor. Look, there's more. Is this the end? Please, Lord. Not now. Not today. <laughs> Although we may Save only have yourself, moments to live. Friend. We Please, have to embrace I'm passion. Not ready to go. Let's kiss right here. <laughs> kiss me, Aldo. Kiss me as we burn. Is there anywhere that you can fight? Oh, I can speak with him. Are we there? No, we're... Dead serious about dating you, Aldo. 
<laughs> okay, it's not very good at recognizing the word Aldo. That's not great, considering that's the name of the character. Yeah. I'm waiting for the like huge wave, as is a lot of people in the in the chat. Nothing's happening. Aldo, what are you talking about? Talking about you and me, a little Wait, pasta linguine. Gone. We're still alive. Look, talking linguine. Oh boy, fireballs! Being a journalist is dangerous. Hey, ferocious, feminine, terrifying. Ripping and whooshing through the sky when I prayed to Mother Nature to put on a show for you. That was not what I meant. Okay. I'm so embarrassed. I completely fell apart back there. I'm so sorry. You let yourself down. I forgive you. I would say that, that was a completely very, natural reaction. My friend, we are forever connected by this monumental moment. We have I will a never forget now, you. Ellen. Would you like to know my secret to fishing? Yes. Yes, yes please. Yes. Yes. Uh, wait, where's my dictaphone? Um, okay. Aldo, yes. T tell me how you did it. You made a pledge with an ancient kraken, didn't you? After what we've been through, it is the least I can do. My secret to fishing is it's just ignoring bananas. It. Seriously, those swordfish go bananas for bananas. I let you have that for free under one condition. Do you promise to come back and fish with me one day? No way, Aldo. I was just using you for the story. I'm out of here. And now oh, my friend. Never see never. We will see each other again. I am certain. Take my number. Call me to arrange the next fishing trip. <laughs> the Kraken wakes. <laughs> well, I got Aldo's number. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, no, it's fine. We're still going to hang out. It's the best. the best, dude. Okay. I got a number, so that's good. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nice hair, nice eyes, nice teeth. Something, 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 something. This looks like a passport. Yeah. Another year, another ju Fred. Fredster. It's a journal to Fred from Holly. Headline ideas. Ellen, we could use this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tumbling, flashing, swooping. S seven tumbling boss fights. <laughs> <laughs> you swooped so hard, Flash. <laughs> you swooped so hard, Flash. The Kraken wakes. Good. Here's your headline, boys. The Kraken wakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Cord physics. I can't pick. Well, let me pick phone. up the phone now. Because it knows it's not oh. going to let you. Ah! Ah! Oh, ah. Right, <laughs> We've got a headline to write, and it's not your what the hell, story. Freddy? We're scrapping that. What? What? You flew no! Out How dare you? I had that scoop. Bananas. I'm it was so bananas. It's bananas. It's bananas. Bananas. <laughs> I'm sorry, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> thinking. Don't take it personally. What you witnessed on that boat? It has the makings of a showstopper story, mystery, okay. drama, danger. I witnessed to the world. The bosses upstairs are thrilled. Freddy, my favourite editor. There you are. She's our only editor. Why is your office packed up? Are you leaving us? Will I ever? All will become clear. Phyllis, Mike. This is Luke. Luke, this is Phyllis and Mike. Hi, mm. my name's Phyllis. Hi, I'm Mike. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we got that. <laughs> and just in case the we weren't clear. The secret was bananas, Mike. I 
I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. So you all saw all the strange things in the sky. We were on holiday. A cruise. It was a honeymoon, darling. Stony Not silence. a holiday. Freddy flew us home on the third day to write this story urgently. So completion of honeymoon is still pending. Speaking of writing this story, that's what So we'll completion of honeymoon is still pending. Anything you contribute that makes it into print gets a point on the board. Bring it on. Luke, get your headline hat on. We'll okay. start with the body of the article. Tell me exactly what you saw out there. Spheres of red gas. Too many words. Gas balls. Gas <laughs> and balls cannot be printed next to one another. Journalism 101 Mike. Luke, what should we call these things? Gas balls. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad, is it? It's awful. We're not using gas balls. <laughs> Gas balls. Gas balls. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad, is it? It's awful. <laughs> We're not using gas balls. How about fireballs? Hmm. I like it. It's striking. Hmm. What's striking I is like your it. staff if you it's don't striking. use gas First balls. point to Phyllis. Now, Luke, we need to give the reader a clear visual. How many fireballs shall we say there were? I've been completely overridden here, haven't I? Yeah. How many fireballs should we say there were? Um, there were like four, weren't there? There were like four, yeah. 4,000 at least. you got to juice it a little. Come on. It's news a little? Newspaper writing. 4,000. That's a lie, Shoy. We only saw six. It does sound impressive, though. Phyllis. Are you sure it wasn't more? I'm all yeah, for an ambitious piece. Yeah, Phyllis. But remember that story we ran last year about the escape panther? Never mention that again. The army was dispatched. But it was just an overweight cat. Yes, <laughs> and Barry will never work as a journalist again. Freddy, I'm sorry, but I know what we saw. There were less than ten. It's a fine line between enthralled readers and escape panther hysteria. But it is nice to have escape readers. Escape panther hysteria! For the sake of your readers, for thousand fireballs, would you put your name to it? Now I think back, it was more like five thousand. <laughs> that's the spirit. The risky <laughs> spirit. A point for your guts. <laughs> the ri that, this that's is going the to risky be marvelous. Spirit. How did these fireballs move? Let's build this picture further. They flew. Boring. Zero points. Luke, oh my gosh. how were they moving across the sky? Piloted Thundering. Light. Thundering, that's good. Torpedoing. Flaming. Blazing. Uh, yeah, thundering is good. Thundering. Uh, piloted by aliens. Un under alien control. Under yeah. alien control. Just give everyone a moment to digest what they've just heard. People were saying like, like a brick doesn't. Nope. Sensationalism sure won't sell in 50s to. England. In 50s England. 50s England. The, England. <laughs> the context is this. They this is were we have voice actors, something everyone. across the sky. Gas balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, let, just ignoring it. Just let you think about that. Not quite attention grabbing enough, mate. What else? They were something <sighs> across oh, the sky. Thundering. Yes, dramatic. I like that was it. on the tip of my tongue. Too slow, remember. This is about <laughs> Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. You were standing there going. Rather than just sky. Oh, now who's juicing it? To point. Phyllis. What do we get if we win? Mike, focus. Is it headline time? It is. And there are valuable points on offer. Points? 
Well, this isn't how old newspapers work. You get the first shot at writing a knockout headline. It oh should boy. be a snappy description that encompasses your entire fireball experience. Something fireballs. A two word should stop a headline. What is the something that describes your experience? You have 10 seconds. Describes no. your You have 10 describes, seconds. Describes your experience. The what? The what? She said something that describes your experience. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Come on. Chop, chop. Gas. <laughs> chop, chop. Thundering like fireballs land in the sea. Okay, do I have to do the whole? Try what again. do they want? Have they another try. Perhaps they want the headline. They want a headline. Something, headline. something fireballs. What is something, something? fireballs? Okay. I'm just looking for one word to something keep it fireballs. snappy. Alliterative, like f. f, f, f yeah. Fierce. Fierce. Fiery. <laughs> Fiery fireballs. <laughs> Ball shaped. <laughs> Fiery fireballs. Um. <laughs> Kindle 101 says huge balls seen at sea. <laughs> um, oh, Mr. T. Corvette, excruciating fireballs. Yeah. What else? Or freaking fireballs. Fundamental, Fundamental fireballs. fireballs from Christian Savala. Thank you. Great balls of fire, says Brian Shona, which is, you know, classic. Goodness gracious. Ooh, that's Goodness good. gracious, great balls of fire land in Pacific Ocean. Itching. <laughs> um, peppermint, peppermint fireballs, the same little. Um, fumbling. Flirtatious. Gassy fireballs from Savannah. Great fishy fireballs from Rocket Rooster. Oh, someone suggests Westerways fireballs. Should we see if I can make that stick? Like I discovered it. Like Haley's comment. I mean, try, yeah. Westerways. No, not Western ways. Let me think about that. No. Think. Aww. What word would make you want to pick up the paper? Something fireballs. Uh, Bradley also is fantastic. Sexy fireballs. <laughs> Freaky fireballs from Ajax. Freaky fireballs is good. Snowbound that Wanderer says whiskey fireballs. 1950s England. 1950s England would. How about some alliteration? Yes, never hurts. Something beginning with a fireball. All right, they're railroading me a bit here, aren't Luke, they? Yes. Any ideas? Fright. Me. Cara Denison says, "Oops, all fireballs." <laughs> Cereal. I like that. I don't know. Very nice. Can we push it further, Mike? Um. How about? What did you say? Something on the table, Mike. Right. Gosh, the pressure. Frightening fuel fireballs. Thoughts on frightening fuel fireballs from the room? I think it doesn't make sense. Rubbish. Fire Mike. Yeah, sorry. That was the jet lag talking, and I appreciate your honesty. We'll stick with Luke's original. One point to you. Yeah, right. Appreciate your honesty. So Frightening far, fireballs. No That's points. That's our headline. The new office manager will put it on your desks in the morning. Wait. Freddy. Who won? Mike. Freddy doesn't judge us on how many points we get. It's about the collaborative effort. Exactly. But yes. Who won? <sighs> it was a tie between Luke and Phyllis. What's the prize? Um, well, all, all will be revealed in time. Oh. This office is for you three now, by the way. Really? Really. I'm moving upstairs. A promotion, apparently. So red. Our desks. Wow. Freddy moving upstairs. New office manager. Luke. You picked a mighty fine time to join us. Just the Kraken wakes. <laughs> I really like it. Occasionally it'll just go the crack and wakes. Okay. Having been in many actual real life headline brainstorming meetings, I would say yeah. that is the most accurate portrayal of the process I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's how we come up with our list of titles. Yeah. 
what, what we do is it we're takes... not saying gas balls <laughs> that, actually that is that does sound like one of our headline meetings 10 minutes of trying to persuade <laughs> someone i won't say who that we can't use <laughs> gas balls in a headline mike <laughs> Um, right, good. Well, I'm glad it took four journalists to brainstorm fe feisty fireballs or whatever we said. Ugh. Everyone in the chat correctly guessing mine. Oh no, there's loads of stuff to read now. Yeah, come on, get your voice acting voice in. Show, show this AI how it's done. Dear Luke, your report of the fireballs knocked me for six. I'm a junior pilot, and I saw something that matches your description exactly. I would like to talk about what I saw. Please call 131141. Frank Pickering Guernsey. Frightening fireballs. Cracker of a headline. It's so <laughs> exciting. No. Where are you from? <laughs> Frightening fireballs. <laughs> the newspaper. <laughs> the thundering fireballs. I have to see. I love the content of the report. I love the content of the report. Numbers. Yeah. We even got fan mail. Um. Uh, Hello, uh, I'm from newspaper. <laughs> Is that just outside Leith, or...? <laughs> we even got fan mail. Um, uh, what do I say to that? Um, I do it all for the fans. It's from, it's from Burnt Island, but it's a burnt newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> to write. This is just the beginning. I put it just there neatly on your desk. Along with the newspaper. Oh, and I'm Muriel. The new office manager. Yeah, They're yeah. really expecting this story to be big. Would you like a coffee or a tea? Both, please. Half and half. <laughs> I can only carry so much. No Which multiple choice in this game. Coffee or tea? You're journalists, so they drink a lot of coffee. As far as I know. A cup of joe. Hot and black. Many sugars. None. Someone's coming in or trying to come in. <laughs> None, thank you. Who's ah! <laughs> <laughs> they, so they coming in? What? No. Oh, there we go. That was my nun came through very slowly there. Excellent. Sugar that was a one word team. game. My fellow published journalist. What the hell? What's that on you your get desk there? next to the paper? What's that on your desk next to the paper? How the um, hell should I know? What am I, a desk looker? Is it fun mail? It's fun mail, isn't it? Good morning, team. Good morning. <laughs> Coffee, Freddy. <sighs> Please. Black coffee, five sugars. Coming up. Tea for Philip. She just walked through the door. <laughs> she walked through the door. Might practically besiege the paper boy. Fireballs thundering across the world. This is my biggest story yet. That's my Luke, story, Mike. Have you read them? Of course I read it. It was my scoop. Good. I love a journalist who is actually willing to read, unlike someone. When one writes the news, I never know how one finds the energy to also consume it. Luke, what would you say if I told you your first article with the EBC Post was officially a hit? I want a raise. No, a raise. Uh, it's uncharacteristically <laughs> bloody brilliant. This paper might finally be read. <laughs> the game's Meanwhile, like, no, the daily no. page are still travelling on about yesterday's news. Russia this, Russia that. Today's chip Russia paper. This, Russia Look, that. it looks like our little embellishment paid off. Time to celebrate. Time to keep working. 
The public interest must feed to keep alive. How do we do that? A press conference. It's booked for tomorrow morning. I'm not good with cameras. We need fresh content for them. Quotes from our witnesses. Yes, they'll gobble it up. <laughs> Don't accurate. just stand around. <laughs> I need quotes from anyone who has witnessed a fireball. <laughs> Any leads, Luke? Oh, 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 the, yeah. A pilot fish... yeah. texted me. A pilot, a pilot, a pilot texted me. A pilot texted me. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Use your little black books. Look around for more leads. I know just the person. Look, yeah, a and pilot. I will find some new quotes. Get to work. This newsroom is amazing. Oh, there she goes. This newsroom <laughs> is amazing. It's like if the Guardian saw a fireball in come out the sky and they were like well we've written our story about the fireballs tomorrow we'll do a press conference <laughs> we should write one more story <laughs> do you, they're all working on one story do you have any stories to write okay um so one three one one four one one four one where the fun out phyllis oh, oh here's my story yeah. There were 4,000. I said 5,000. I've been censored. Have you also been witness to 4,000 frightening fireballs? <laughs> hey, Phyllis. How's it going? Call any contacts you find. Might be worth a shot. You've got you to gotta call the pilot for the phone number. Uh... Yeah, 131141. One, one. Fireball witness. Oh, should I call Aldo? Yeah, Aldo also said things. Like, ask him about fish. One more, th one more three, one more three. I know, I know, but 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 maybe I. No, let's call Aldo again. Good morning. You have reached the number for Aldo, the greatest Scottish fisherman in the world. This is Ramon speaking. Aldo is busy running his fireball tours. I'll tell him you call. Okay, bye. Oh, he's doing fireball tours now. <laughs> this is Ramon speaking. I'll tell him you called. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Let's call the pilot then. Aldo's leaving me on red. Frank here. Hello, Frank. I hear you are a pilot. Hello indeed. How can I help? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ireland. I'm sorry, Ireland. <laughs> uh, special shout out to Aoife. We're very sorry. Um, what was the question? How can I help? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, fireballs. Tell me about the fireballs. Tell me about the gas balls. No one much calls this number apart from my wife and she sat here with me drinking a cup of tea. So, can I assume you are calling in response to my letter? About the fireballs, I have information that might help you. And I want to help. I do, but okay. these fireballs have got me in a bit of a pickle. The fireballs have everyone in a pickle. They're a... The Bible? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Tab, 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 apparently. tab, tab. There we go. Wait, no, You're what did I say? very kind. Oh. The thing is, according to my colleague... <laughs> Bible, no, no. I'm considered to have suffered some kind of hallucination. Some kind of hallucination. Um... A fiddly diddly dee. <laughs> this is an well, Irish accent. there are many witnesses to the fireballs. Why are you considered to have suffered a loser? It's in all the I newspapers. I reported it to my superior, and just like that, I'm on compassionate leave. I'm sorry to hear that, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just taking the, just takes the last thing you said. It's completely thrown me. <laughs> if you keep investigating, all this will get cleared up sharpish, I'm sure. 
Enough about me. Let me tell you what I saw. We've been patrolling the airspace in Russia, on orders to report any unusual activity. That's when I saw with my own eyes the frightening fireballs. Just like you said in your paper, I didn't see anywhere near as many as you said you saw in the paper. You're calling me a liar? But still, I was shook. It's not every day you see fireballs screaming through Russian airspace. <laughs> now I'm sorry to dash off, but there's soup on the stove. You are one of the good ones, Luke. Please keep my number on file. If you ever need anything else, I'd be happy to assist. Frank, you're my best friend. RAF pilot witnesses fireballs screaming ah. through Russian airspace. That's a good quote. Balanced. Informative. I'll add it to the list. Let's yeah, get an alternative and the alternative great thing about to. it is that it's I important got that quote just by calling from. some rando Keep who said for it more to me leads. on the phone. So, journalism. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, journalism is one quote. Yeah, more leads. Mike's notebook. Ah, oh, let's steal Mike's leads. Yes, please. Things to do. Number one, frame Luke. Buy milk. Rearrange honeymoon with the wonderful Guinevere, but only after I've bought milk. <laughs> Cruises? 333-111. Three, 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 one, one, one. Shall, shall I call the cruise line? Maybe a cruise saw it. Yeah. Or maybe I can take Guinevere on a cruise. Didn't work out with Aldo, so... No. Welcome to Guinevere Cruises. To speak to sales, say one. To speak to the human resources team, say two. 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 The future of video games right here. <laughs> it's just like being You're on a real... Benion, cruise performer and human oh, resources Benion. administrator. <laughs> Who's calling, please? It's Luke here from the newspaper. You wrote that article about the fireballs. The Daily Page called earlier, but I was saving myself exclusively for EBC News. You broke the story. You'll have more readers. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Did you see any fireballs? Did you see any fireballs? The fireballs are kind of the big story. There were story. so many of them. So At many. first, I thought it was shooting stars. I was out on deck getting some air before the show. I'm a performer, then I heard a roar from above, and I could see these giant fireballs thundering across the sky. I saw loads, just like Call you said blimey. in your paper. Maybe even more. I saw Maybe even more. Before my eyes. I thought the fireballs would be the death of me. How's that? Will it get front page? <laughs> right, there's moments where you hear it and you're like, that just sounds like someone reading it. Yeah. And then it's like, how's that? Will it get from page? Will it get from page? <laughs> yes, Benyon, you beauty. Great. I'll post you my picture. Wow. Picture. I'm going to be in the paper. I better go call my mother. So. Well, we we've certainly oh. got the other side of the coin. Dramatic. So we've got Nice to see I have some competition for employee of the month. Time's up. Have you got a world-stopping quote? Depends what level of authenticity you're after. Keeping our audiences undivided attention is the goal here. This is journalism, goddammit. <laughs> journalism, Matt, God damn what it. have you got? You're not going to like it, but here goes. My quote is, the most likely cause of the fireballs is the East. Yet another not-so-subtle threat for the West to pay attention. Whoa, Did you only say that? Yeah. God, you get a point just for calling her. Tuny. Luckily, Luke managed to get two great quotes. Yeah. Quote number one, from a pilot named Frank. RAF pilot witnesses fireballs screaming through Russian airspace. And quote number two, from a cruise performer called Benyon. Cruise performer saw life flash before eyes. I thought the fireballs would be the death of me. Fantastic mm. work. Let's vote, Luke. Quote one, okay. quote two. Or quote three. Okay, do we want to go with quote one, which is accurate, and is and we yeah. got it? Oh, Mike's is obviously the best headline, but we're not going to use it because it's Mike's. And, you know, I'm trying to advance my career here. I don't think that's the best. I think that's just like... It's a good the quote. E like, it's the East, though. It's just the East. 
what part of the east? Which country in the east? Which <laughs> just this idea of the east. Mm. Um, um, Cruise Performer One is basically one of those magazines. Yes, yes, um, yes. It's a, it's like, that yeah. I always end like whenever I've been in hospital and you get people's leftover magazines. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. want to read these? And I'm like, thanks. And yeah. it's like. My my leg is now an octopus. Super, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so something weird, you know. My octopus leg ate my husband. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's that sort of thing. Well, I, well, look. Let's let's do that one. <laughs> let's go with. Do you that. wanna? Do you yeah, wanna? Let's go with that one. Let's yeah. Have, I want, okay. Also, Benyon said he would send us a picture, and I want to see what Benyon looks like. So, quote mm -hmm. number two, please. Quote number two. Great, I have to say. My first impression is that Luke's choices are good. So I agree. I vote for Benin's quote too. New Twitter bio. Mm. I hope you're right on this look. My vote goes to Benin's quote too. Well then, that's decided. Ben we'll lead with this at the press conference. Well done, Luke. One point. Great. After this, can Phil and I get back to Honey Mooney. Luke. Have you had any training for press conferences? Yes, extensive. Scary Scottish lady just walked in, I think. <laughs> Excellent. You're going to need everything Scottish. you've got. Remember, yeah. they'll want this story for themselves. So make it clear that you are the experts. Eyewitness to the world. Eyewitness to the world. Okay. The Kraken wakes. <laughs> Eyewitness to the world. The Kraken. <laughs> I think okay. Liddy Liddy from the man on the phone and uh, okay, the new from the lady who brings you coffee. <laughs> now, unconventionally, instead of writing something Hi, in a look, newspaper that you can all buy, tree. we've invited all Tell these me, other journalists to come to our newspaper when office. You saw the fireballs. <clears throat> Were you scared for your life when you saw the fireballs? Um... No. Yes. My instincts kicked in. I reacted immediately. Is kicked in? I reacted. I was kicked in. Good to know. You must be very brave. The witness reports sound terrifying. Thacker here from the intelligentsia. Oh, Thacker. Mike, did you <laughs> well, fear said for yours and your else? wife's life? Like, like Mr. Bennion. Phyllis here is a safe pair of hands. Phyllis. The readers of the Gentleman Inquirer will be interested the to know Inquirer. you were on your honeymoon when the fireball struck. What were you wearing when it happened? Yes. Easy question. Phyllis, can we see your engagement ring? Yes, Phyllis, Phyllis. The ring, Phyllis. would you say Mike is a romantic husband? How does it feel being the fireball <laughs> guru? Next question, please. There are literally the fireballs the falling from the sky. <laughs> what were you wearing Luke, at the time? This question is for you. Or shall I call We're you all going to die in fireballs. Um, uh, the question is for you, or shall I call you Fireball Guru? Yes, please call me that. Guru, where are these things coming from? What's causing Guru. them? Guru. Aliens. Guru. 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 <laughs> Her. What and piloted by little green men, maybe. Are you seriously suggesting to the British public that we are in the midst of an outer space invasion? Yes, I am. Right. Fascinating. Mike, you were the first person to spot the fireballs. Did you raise the alarm? Actually, it was Phyllis who first saw them. I'm sure we mentioned that in the press release. Phyllis! Why didn't you raise the alarm? Press release. It was it's the middle newspaper. of the night, and we didn't know what we were looking at. We're not the ones Luke, on trial here. Could this be an attack from Russia? Literally no idea. All I did was talk to a cruise man. Wait, 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 wait. I know what to say. Oh. With the rising tensions Fine. from the east. I wanted to say, oh, be an that's a question for my colleague, Mike. Don't you think? Oh, answer. yeah. That's a question for my colleague, Mike. It's good. It's good. Please, a clear answer. Do you suspect Russia being involved in the deployment of fireball attacks? 
Yes I or don't no? know. Ask Mike. I don't know. Ask Mike. <laughs> so you deny it. Thank you. Mike, is your wife upset about the cancelling of your honeymoon? I'm upset about it myself, but you'd have to ask my wife for her feelings on it. A question for Luke. You reported in your paper you saw for thousand fireballs at once. Yes, I thought this might be. Thank you for the question. For thousand. reported by any other source. Is it true that you exaggerated these fireballs in order to sell more newspapers? It's true. I'm a fraud. Chaotic. Really? I don't know what to believe now. For your sake, I hope this is all a joke. Luke. Is it true that the EBC Post will now be receiving heavily discounted rates on cruise holidays due to your liaising with the staff? Oh all no, right, they've connected right. me to cruise That's discounts! Enough <laughs> That's enough, this press conference is over! Report shortly. <laughs> the Kraken way! Leave me to my shuffleboard! <laughs> Hurriedly removes promotional baseball cap of cruise. <laughs> 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 Rips off lay. <laughs> <laughs> In the pockets oh, of no, Big no, no, Cruise, no. says Ken Doyle. <sighs> Damn. What a twist. Well, how did that... How do you think that went? Mm, Could have gone better. You're here. Here's my Great. crack team. The public have gone fireball nuts. <laughs> Morning, Fireball Guru. We're trying to map all the sightings. The Beholder have already printed, so try trying to make us look unreliable. What? They'll try anything. She, the, Luke, the, the Scottish one board. sounds like Check she's being mulched. Help us map them. I'm Meal. As she's... Kate Meal. I'm Crazy Meal. All quite self-explanatory. The Crazy Pile has been very popular. Okay. I read my hate mail. That read your fun. hate mail first. Get that out of the way. Get a grip. What do they tell us, Luke? A location, maybe. Give me a minute, Mike. This is so exciting. The quote from the performer has certainly brought in a crowd. Can you all be quiet? I'm trying to read. <laughs> This is very exciting. All of this. Everyone out. Anything more in the letters? There are more letters coming, by the way. I'm making pals with the postie. I can't concentrate on the job in... Look, now the phone's ringing. You're all horrible and I hate you. Answer that phone, will you? Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, Mike. Yes, this is Guru speaking. How adorable. My name is Bax. I work with that buffoon pinion that you quoted <gasps> these fireballs. I've seen them. Let me set one thing straight. They were nothing more than one or two broke up meteors plopping into the sea. So, why are you giving the limelight in press conferences to dramatists like Benyon? I'll have to refer you to our legal department. I don't understand you. I know you're just doing your job, but instead of dramatizing the fireballs, please just find out who is sending them so we can all get back to how things were. I've got to go. We've just launched the seniors at C Package deal and the phone lines are jammed. Goodbye. Okay. Come, please, everyone. Hello, or morning, Freddy. Freddy, I'm at my wit's end. You said I'd be back on my honeymoon by Your now. Your honeymoon's not if happening, anybody Mike. Anybody has discovered the end of their wits, it's me. The haters are out in full force. Give your grievances to Luke. Have you lost your mind? How dare you? My reporting was solid and the buck stops with the editor. Hmm. Freddy's fault. I don't get it. 
You could have nipped the exaggerated numbers narrative in the bud. Saved us all a dump load of hassle. But no. You went with it! You went with it! You ran the story. I don't want to hear it. Do you realize how hard I work to get you coverage space? You have a Not newspaper to fill. You're not doing me a favor, getting me coverage space. You've got a Points whole newspaper. Points for Phyllis and Mike only. <gasps> oh, that is too. Sorry, I'm being a toad. <laughs> toad. Sorry, I'm being a toad. Thanks for confirming. Let's move on. We need some proper scientific information. Shopish. How many fireballs sighted? Eight hundred fireball sightings and counting. Plus a few flying saucers. A blizzard of frogs and a nasty shower of dandelions. Christ. Look, a letter came. Addressed just to you. <laughs> I put it on your desk. <laughs> Thank you. Thank she you. sounds like a Scottish person being tortured. Thank you, Muriel. What a treat. Letter addressed to me. Being torn so apart. Oh, Ronaldo. Tell me, are they all over the world? Yeah. I can't seem to put a pattern on it. It could be totally random. Luke, who's that letter from? None of your business. My relationship with Freddie has soured. Mm -hmm. A private deputy? Hey! Sighting near the Mariana Islands, Mike. Freddie, we need a bigger map. What we need is corroboration from a source that the Daily Page cannot possibly ignore. Corroboration? It's fireballs from the sky! What? How? Can't, Answer the phone, Luke. Can't no one else is doing it. Can't NASA confirm it? Or something. Yeah. You know, like, this is surely. Like, this is Captain this Winters. Shouldn't be of up for the debate. British Navy. Oh. To whom am <gasps> I speaking? The fireball this is Fireball Guru, guru Luke. <laughs> oh, Luke. The goal themselves. We'll see how long that little endearment lasts. Do you get seasick, Luke? Violently. Just remember, weak stomach, weak mind. We at the Royal British Navy are investigating the landing sites of the fireballs, and I have a fine idea to invite you and your fireball guru colleagues, Phyllis and Mike, to document the event from your choice of coverage. <laughs> I can see that your narrative moves correctly. We'll make sure to do that before we, the Navy, thought what we'd do is I'll invite all of the most unreliable journalists <laughs> to come see some fireballs. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> and just like that, your press conference incompetence has some use after all. My reporters are going to be on site, exploring the deep seas with the Royal Navy. Hilarious. We are an eyewitness paper, Phyllis. Oh, God. She's serious. No time to waste. Here's yeah, your right. Let's go to sea. We're an eyewitness paper, so that means that, like, they can cool. only report on things if they Hard. go directly and look Fact. at them. What do they think yeah. is causing the fireballs? Why suddenly explore now? What are they expecting to find where they landed? Flirt with the ocean, not go off as if you have to. Flirt so, with, with the ocean, not Flirt with the ocean, you yes. can <laughs> Permission Luke. to come aboard, Skipper. Uh. Excellent. All right, journalists. Do your worst. All right, journalists. Fan mail. Yes, oh no, it's nah. gone. The Kraken Wave! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We... We've gone to... Ooh. The Royal Navy's phoned us and is like, Hello, everything you're reporting seems to be wrong. Want to come out on our boat? We'll put it right... Yeah. Wait, hang on, am I... Pl oh, I'm playing here. I thought there was a cutscene. Oh, follow the light. What am I... <gasps> Where am I? am I in the under... sea. Am I deep under... Am I the Kraken? <gasps> Playable Kraken. Confirmed. That sounded like a crunch. Ooh. Swimmy swim swim. Just keep swimming. 
Are you? Am I? I don't think you're moved. There oh, we go. Oh. oh, okay. Right. Every press is a swim. Yeah, you have to go. Hey, Angel Beat says you're doing a cracking job. Nice. Jen says, <laughs> Jen says you're gonna get eaten by an anglerfish. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Gun! Straight into it! Yeah, come on! Catch fire! Nope. No crack of the Is it gonna do it? Nope. Nope, okay. Hard cut. Right, we're on the Navy's boat. Indian that was backwards, ocean. right? Is it supposed to be backwards on yeah, the ships? Yeah, it was backwards. <laughs> the Kraken wait. The Kraken wait. Oh, good, the gang's all here. Welcome. I'm Captain Winters. Today we'll be embarking on a mission to explore the landing sites of the fireballs in the ocean. We'll be using mm -hmm. state of the art technology which I will reveal shortly. In the meantime, okay. the let us take a look at this map on the table here. Each of these dots represent it's, the it's descent a of the fireball. With a rock at the end Do meteors normally fall in groups like that? Phyllis, you will see in the Indian Ocean the fireballs you spotted on your honeymoon, I believe. And Luke, your first sighting in the Pacific Ocean is on there too. What were you doing out there? Getting a scoop on a swordfish? Swordfish. I'm a keen fisherman of the sword myself. Any tips? Bananas. 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 Bears. Bears. Seafarers don't give up their secrets to no fools. Ah, Would you tell us if you knew what was causing all the fireballs? The one time. I don't know what is causing the fireballs. Oh, That's not what I asked. The game so nearly worked. Right. So many questions so soon. No, we're ah. sorry. Any questions from you, Luke? Not enjoying that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Bananas! I meant bananas! No Give point telling him now. Shall I try and tell him now? See if it works. Yeah, go on. Before, I meant to say bananas. All will be explained. Get your pens and notebooks to the ready. No. I'm no. about to show you our new purpose design technology. We are really very What proud even of it. is MERS? No, some other country mm. were Search. responsible. Sir, this is if the that Royal means British anything. Navy. Has there been new information come to light? Is Farm that your company? It's aliens. Questions. The equipment is in position. I said it's, it's aliens. Exciting. Perhaps you might like to see it with your own eyes. Luke, There's a, do the honors. an artist called Open MERS. I'm not really getting the impression of like. Let's get these tent doors open. A fabulous navy expedition. <laughs> what have they got like snacks? They got cupcakes and coffee. Mers <laughs> is a nonsense word invented by the German Dada artist Kurt Fitters to describe his collage and assemblage works based on scavenge scrap metals. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. That's what I meant. That's Why what I meant. look at this royal look at this royal navy? <laughs> Oh! Ta da! Behold! The bathyscope! This beauty is the bathyscope. It has been constructed to dive to a depth of 1500 fathoms. We do not intend to use it any deeper than 1200 fathoms, thus providing for a safety factor of some 300 fathoms. The bathyscope will be lowered into the deeps, fathom by fathom. I'm not I getting in. A cable so far. I'm not getting in this. Up by any known machinery <laughs> Rinky dink. Right. By the deeps, the bathyscope can resist a pressure of two tons to the square inch. Fathoms or inches. I'm somewhat lost. And now, I welcome our two oceanographers who will make the descent. Let me on board. Wiseman and Oceanographers. This is Luke, Mike, 
and Fedis. You can just go ahead and Never call us Pioneer One and Pioneer Two, <laughs> if you like. Weissman and Trunk will be inside the buffy scum. We are T minus five. What's a T minus? It means go. let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. Can I borrow you a moment to look over here? Follow me. Yeah. She's gonna tell me she loves me and she's leaving, Mike. Yeah. Captain Winters is about as much used to a journalist as a handbrake on a kayak. Grab Weissman and Trank before they get in the bath they scope. They're our best bet for answering Freddy's brief. I'll distract Winters. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. for the love of God, find out what a fathom is. What a fathom is. It doesn't matter. Right, you distract Winters. I'm going to get the scoop. Here we go. Get ready to be interviewed, Wiseman and Trant. I said, get ready to be interviewed, Wiseman and Trant. Hey, Luke. Hi. You're the one who claimed the fireballs were an invasion from outer space. Oh, you heard about I that, I actually did you? once got abducted by aliens. They stole me for a whole week. So you okay. know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> That's a lie, obviously. Do you understand any of that stuff Winters was saying? What does fathoms mean? I don't know what fathoms means. Shouldn't you understand it though, Wiseman and Trant? Aren't you going Ooh. in the board? A fathom is a unit of measurement. You want it in meters. Miles. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, no. Has it crashed? <laughs> An unreal process. Oh, it's dear. Crashed. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh dear. Oh man. F's in chat for the game. <laughs> I got too close to the truth, says someone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me re let me try and reopen it. All right. All right, lots of F's in chat. Thank you. I was getting too close to the truth, wasn't I? Noogie Doo says the Kraken sleeps. <laughs> I've missed whoever it was who said um, oceans have become Kraken fields, but that was great. Ah. Okay. Right, the game's reopened, so that's good. That was Adrian Kerrison. Um, Kraken hits news. Hey, Neil Smith says this game's cracking under the pressure. <laughs> right, I think we're back. Turns out counting fathoms to meters was unfathomable, says KM, KM Ninja. I have to go back through here. Oh. At least I know the answers. You're going to have to share with me the screen because I can't see. You have to reshare. Oh, yeah, there. sorry. That's all right. Oh, it's funny in the ocean. We'll be using state-of-the-art technology, which I will reveal shortly. In the meantime, okay, okay. okay. <gasps> Maybe you can tell them bananas this time. Here. Another Maybe, chance. Oh my God. Each of these dots yes, represent it's, it's the fate. descent of a fireball. Do meteors normally fall in groups like that? Phyllis, you will see in the Indian Ocean the fireballs you spotted on your honeymoon, I believe. Yeah, everyone you, in chat is like, bananas! Your first sighting in the Pacific bananas. Ocean is on there too. Bananas. What are you doing out there? <laughs> this is your chance. This bananas. is your chance. Bananas. What was the question? Oh, yeah, a fisherman. Working with a fisherman. You need to say about swordfish. He, I, I think that'll a be A well-timed appointment. Would you tell us if you knew what was causing all the fireballs? I don't know what is causing the fireballs. He is, so are you telling me he's specifically a fisherman Russia? of so swordfish? So it's because you said swordfish. He's like, oh, swordfish. Oh. I've never caught a swordfish. What's the tip? Do you like fishing for swordfish? All will be explained. Oh, Luke! Ready. Luke, no! To... <laughs> exit, exit, exit. <laughs> Everyone's like, restart, restart, restart. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so what do I say first? I have to say, like... You had to say, talking to a man about a swordfish. You have to mention the swordfish. Sounds like Welcome. a euphemism, but okay. I'm Captain Winters. <laughs> talking to a man about a swordfish. We are embarking on a mission to explore the landing sites of the fireballs in the ocean. We'll be Banana. using state-of-the-art technology, which I will reveal shortly. In the meantime, let us take a look. Each of these dots represent the descent of a fireball. Do meteors normally fall in groups like that? Phyllis. You will see in the Indian Ocean the fireballs you spotted on your honeymoon, I believe. And Luke, your first sighting in the Pacific Ocean is on there too. What were Come you on, Luke, you got there? this. I was talking to a fisherman who had caught swordfish. That's got to be okay, right? Swordfish? Well, I'm a keen fisherman of the sword we're in, myself. We're in. Come Edit on. It. Bananas. Send it, Chef! Bananas? Are you joking? <laughs> That's just the sort of crackpot idea that might actually work. Yeah! We did useful. it! Would you tell us if you knew what was causing all the fireballs? Yay, we're on the chat, the so please! So that's right. not what, <laughs> what about Russia? So many questions so soon. No, we're certain. Any question from you, Luke? <laughs> you want to get a drink? All will be explained. Oh. Your pens and to the ready. I'm about to show you our new purpose design technology. This is this is less exciting AI and more Sir, typing your own adventure. Yeah. Has there been new information come to light? This is, is more like old school hitchhiker's guide. And the AI, I suppose, is speech recognition. Is it's very exciting. Perhaps you might like to see it with your own. We're going to go find Wiseman and Trant before they've before they. Ah, uh, here they are. Yes! You're not scripted to walk up in yet. Spooky is the Bafisco. It has been constructed to die to death for 1500 years. <laughs> oh, what has happened face? to his jaw? <laughs> to Shaved off on one side. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what happened to you, sir? I'm the so sorry. Or into the yeah. Here they Michael. go. Now you. I this cable. The cable is so tough, it cannot be cut by any man. I'm one of the oceanographers yeah. now. <laughs> in the deeps, the Bacchus can resist a pressure of two tons to the square inch. Fathoms, inches, and somewhat lost. And now, I welcome our two oceanographers who will make the descent. Wiseman and Trap. Is he supposed to be this like, I don't know what right. inches are because I've got Phyllis. an English accent? You can just go ahead and call us Pioneer Wiseman. We're, we're <laughs> still very much in the like Imperial Weisman measurement system for various things. Also, like, you don't we need to know what a fathom is. It means let's no. get cracking. So I'm not going to ask this time because that's what crashed the game. Can I borrow you a moment, Luke? Over here. No. I love how there's just like guns, guns. Tea party. Tea party. Snacks. Captain Winters is about as much used to a journalist as a handbrake on a kayak. Grab Weissman and Trank before they get in the bath this scope. They're our best bet for answering Freddy's brief. I'll go okay. Winters. Oh, and for the love of God. Find out what a fathom is. We know what. All right. Okay. <sighs> Don't break game. Don't break. Is there? Is it? Can you save the game at this point? No. No. Okay. Well, if it crashes again, then we give up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. That'd be that'd be brilliant. Finish early. Clock up right, well, early. Uh, yeah. Do, do. All right. Uh, okay. Trance. Hey Luke, you're the one Trant. who claimed the fireballs were an invasion from outer space. They good, they good dogs. Trant. <laughs> they stole me for a whole week. Liar. <laughs> oh, also oh, is it? Um, John Fires is like spike for bananas. Yeah, we need a like spike. Yeah, right. Understand any of that stuff Winters was saying? Yes, I understood all of it, especially the part about the fathoms. Trent, you like Spike? You shouldn't patronize people. Sorry. Patronize people. You know that Winters only speaks for in Navy. That's true. Do you That's have any true. questions for us? Okay, like she's kind of she goes into like a southern accent and oh, she kind oh. of falls out of it a little bit. Oh, yeah. And it's a little bit kind of 
One. Ellen, you have to think of a question for Wiseman and Trant. Um. What's the real story here? What's the story behind the story? What would you? What can would I come you, with you? Can I come with you? Yes, Ellen. Can't wait to squeeze my limbs into that tiny metal sphere. Anything else you want to pick our brains about before we go? Okay. Let up. Let Can me we come have a lax back? Three. Let, two, let me come with you. One. Lax I hope back. Some coffee in that bathoscope. <laughs> bathoscope. What else is noodling in your brain that you want to ask us? Can I come with you? Bananas. <laughs> I'm just excited to get going. Not nervous at all. I'm just gonna hey, ignore uh, everything you say. You're asking us all these questions. AI is only as smart as the people that you program it. Fireballs. Right. Ellen is Answered like, I'm getting her voice in stereo. It makes me very unhappy. I saw you. I'm sorry. What do you think caused them? <laughs> what do you think caused Aliens. them? Aliens! Alright, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon? <laughs> Someone's saying that the, the accent doesn't belong with the face, but she does look like... Um, uh, is it Peggy from King of the Hill? <laughs> They came from space. I mean, technically they did. Has no one considered that? Did Captain that? Winter show you his map? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> really? He loves that thing. It's, it's Peggy Hill, isn't it? Yeah. Gives him thrills. Yeah, yeah chat agrees. Feels. Thank you, no everyone. One wants to hear about your thrills, I love Peggy. I like King of the Hill. Such a good show. No, no one hear about your thrills, Luke, Did he show you the <laughs> other map? What other map? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said anything. But you're here on official business. You've even got a little journal. And you're saying the fireballs are caused by aliens. It reminded me of something. Hey, Luke. Yes? Tell me. Tell tell me. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. I'd love one. Go. I had loved one. <laughs> you know, a cup of tea. In the mess tent over there. Might just help you ponder your question. Oh, oh, there's gonna be a map in the mess tent. Follow me. To the yes. mess tent. Yes. Because there was a big tea kettle thing. One of those big, like... Now who's being seduced? There you go, look, yeah, like, you get a... <gasps> oh, get fairs and stuff. <gasps> okay, I'll close these doors. Now kiss me, you two. <laughs> Wait, um, I can you... Look, here's the map right when you a little bit. You. Cast your eyes over that. A little bit more? A little bit more? Little, just, t just turn to your right. What turn do you to your right. about those dots? <laughs> What do no I notice about see. these dots? Uh, uh, they're in clusters. Um, they what is... are where the fireballs were. <laughs> they're in groups. <laughs> Strange, huh? If only there was something that could enlighten us a bit further. Say, another map. Be careful, <clears throat> Eisman. Hey, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just thinking about that box on the table there. <gasps> I don't understand. Which table? <laughs> this is the heaviest hint ever. It's just such a nice box. <laughs> Big enough to hide something under, I'd say. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, looks about big enough. Anyway, should we get the this bit? Okay. <laughs> Look out of the box! Fine. Look at the box! Now put it Oh my goodness. Oh my... Wow. What's that under there? You should now lay it over the first map on this table over here. Wow. A clue. What do you notice? the greatest journalist in the world. They overlap. It's the shape of an alien.
All fireball landings are in deep waters. There are no reports of fireballs landing in shallow water. Only the very deepest. And when you think about what it means, Only the very that's deepest. when things get funky. That's Asteroids, when things get funky. Meteors. Space debris. They okay, don't I tend don't know, to be I can't picky place about her landing accent. in deep it's just water. Gennaro. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not real, is it? I don't know. Um, I, what am I supposed to say to that? Um, yes, that's what I've heard also. At its capacity, our bathyscope will only brush the edge of the deepest areas. Bathyscope. And that's the height of man-made technology. They're saying it like stethoscope. <laughs> it's completely yeah, unlivable down there. For this anything scope, humans scope know out to best. exist anyway. Oh, there's a birth hey, fiber. <laughs> nice shallow waters around UK. So we'll be dandy. Wise man. Trapped. Are you in there? Just a minute. We're just... Putting um, our clothes back on. Putting our thermals on. Quickly, look. Put the map back under the box. Sorry, Captain. These thermals are tight. <laughs> oh! Is that no? That was my internet. I think I just froze. Games are back. <laughs> Games are back. Okay, nothing is gonna nothing is gonna happen, is it? No, put it back no. over there. Put the box back <laughs> on top. Put the box back on top. It's good. Quick. Quick. Box on but top. Now. Open the tent door. But you can do this bit. <laughs> oh, you're all in here. Yes, we've hit it off like a house on fire. G minus one minute. I repeat. G minus <laughs> one minute. All personnel to mission start positions, please. Who boy? This is exciting, isn't it? Who boy? Right. Hey. You sound look, excited, If you Lord. need anything after the mission, here's my number. Call anytime. Seriously. Anytime. People don't call my number enough. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> So do I get to go in the Oh no oh there we go. No, okay. there they, they go. They are gonna get so eaten by a kraken. Mm-hmm. She's like, no one loves me. I'm so alone. <laughs> Mike. Luke, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can, hi. magic computer. Excellent. We can hear you. You'll be able to follow Wiseman and transform the viewing equipment there. Or the truly innovative parts of the buffy scope design. Go on down. We should start to see something. Communication from that far below. The deepest oh, little fish! That's something for your paper. Ooh. Okay. Reaching 600 fathoms. Camera hey, two. Captain Winters. Camera Next three. Next time, can we get heated seats? Camera I four. I put a flask of coffee in there. Is that what it is? Yeah. Sorry. Tentacles. That coffee is not good. It all looks can like. Anything, yeah. It all looks like krakens. Gosh. What is that? Can it be? It's the Titanic. I can't believe we finally found it. I mean, we've already found that. 775 fathoms. Deeper than any human has gone but before. This, but this is the. Why is it? Oh wait, is this the 19? This is the 1950s. But I still isn't yes. it? No, this is not. This is 1950s England. You have to remember. Yeah. Hey Luke, can you see us on the camera? Oh. I see you, Wiseman. I just wanted to know how I look. How do I look? Is that them? I cannot make out any of this. You're looking She's flirting out. with you, I think. Yo, stay professional, Luke. The 
captain is listening. Yes, please. Luke. Whatever happens, Luke. You look heroic. That's not flirty. <laughs> You're going to print this. You mean that's not flirty? History in your paper. I thought that was very flirty. Well, it's like, oh no, oh wow, no, you look heroic. Right on the edge like, of the cool. Something you look big. cool. I can't quite see it. It might be a giant squid. Well, it can't be a whale. Not down here. Improbable. But not impossible. We mammals do get around. I I cannot make out what that final screen is. Are you both still quite I think it's happy the down backs there? of their heads. Dead. What? Dead, sir. Right. Nothing yes, I can see it now. Not even a squid, though. Here comes something. The Kraken. Where is oh. it? There goes one of nature's careless moments. What's the headline for this report going to be? Something about a whole lot of squid. No any squid puns were. Um, um, I've got an inkling. I've got an inkling. Very impressive. Oh, Ellen. You've and only received well the praise for your puns. Hey, I liked it. Whatever it was we came to find, we've not found it. That said, then, not much of a story. Ah, hello. We've got, I've got an inkling. Freddy will love it. Kid you not. Which yeah, this trip wasn't a waste at all. So a, we came up with a squid. Damn it! I just thought of one. I squid you not. Can't believe I missed that. Hey, Luke. You Can't are all you. so tedious to me. Luke. <laughs> if Captain Winters asks us how we like the mission, I dare you to say that was the best mission ever. Would you not? How are we all on deck? <sighs> Did you enjoy that spectacle? Perfect timing. Now's your chance. Go on. Luke. Did you enjoy that spectacle? No. <laughs> well, I never. This is the height of technology, <laughs> you know. Very respectable of you, Luke. Don't stoop to his level. Wait. There's something out there again. I can see it properly. Keeps just on the fringe of the light. It can't be the whale again. Not at this depth. They might have something interesting here. Whatever it is, it seems to be circling us. Let uh, me see if I can capture this. I can't see anything. Can you I see think it it's now? that grey smudge. Oh. What's this size brute anyway? I can't seem to make out any detail. It's rising up now. Faster than we are. Next time can we have a window on the top of this thing, please? Damn it. I think we've lost it. Gone somewhere above. Maybe it'll... Ah! Ah! Oh no! What's it's cut through the thing. Not sure. Is that the of the witch coming up? It wouldn't be that fast. Surely. <gasps> the Kraken wakes! Something is wrong. The Kraken wakes! <laughs> Why, Sven? Why? The Kraken wakes! Why, Sven? No! No, Weissman and Trant. Trant. <laughs> they were turned into rope. It was as soon as they said, it nothing on be. Earth can it's cut through impossible. this. <laughs> no machine it's on Earth cut. can cut through this Not wire. Broken. It's aliens. Cut. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> the long walk. Through the green cord, the Kraken wakes. <laughs> oh, the jazz. Boop a doop a boop boop boo. The Kraken wakes. Biddle a doop boop. Biddle a doop boop 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 That's when the Kraken waked. Oh. I trust you understand the seriousness of the situation. Oh, you've it's come back to our office. Should publish a report on the mission as planned. I strongly recommend you do not publish a word regarding this mission. And especially not any matter regarding those cut cables. Why then did I send my reporters to the arse end of the ocean? Mrs. Whittier, please. It's Miss Whittier. Miss Whittier, you should know that I have many contacts within government that news outlets such as you and your journalists often rely on. Is that a threat? Certainly Sounds not. Sounds like a threat. This is about your dependability the as a news establishment. Maybe you shouldn't have invited a load of journalists right out to Thank the you for coming to yeah. see us, Captain. Just saying. That will be all. Good day, Captain Winters. Oh, well, 
Get out of here, Luke, Captain Winters. I don't expect you'll be sticking your neck out any time soon to talk no, sense into your you colleagues. Out the door. But to take a moment to consider it. Blood on your hands. You let Wiseman down. Get out of here. That scoundrel. <laughs> start looking for a new story. <laughs> I'll start looking for a next? new story. How about <gasps> how about the aliens that killed the the oceanographers and we were there? Would you consider that at all Poor newsworthy, Mike? wise man. There are a few stories on the cards. What do you fancy? Royal babies or countryside scandals? How about... How about the aliens that destroyed the bathosphere? The bathosphere, great. Perfect. <laughs> the battlefield. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, I want to do news report on the battlefield, Mike. I guess it doesn't matter which order. We'll write about stories anyway. I want to write act I want to do journalism but I have to write about royal babies. This is starting to feel a bit too real. Yeah. Okay. Phyllis, what do you have to say for yourself? There are certain things that just need to be printed. He can threaten mm -hmm. us, but Freddy won't let us be pushed around. Go find her. I'll get started on the report. Yes. Ooh. Tantalizingly ill-defined. Oops, didn't mean that. Do I have it more fan mail? will have to be shelved for another day. Mm-hmm. I've long been a fan of all things spacey. I hope you know what you are bloody doing. They are people too. We thank you for being part of the revolution. Freedom from space traitors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, are, are, there, are there more for each of them, or does that arrow oh, just that cycle it? them through? So that's just that one, but the first one, I think there was another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's got... Eyewitness to the world, more like conspirator to the world. I'm hurt by your recent admission of exagger... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I must admit I was wary to admit that extraterrestrials could be behind this, being a son of an honourable vicar. <laughs> Needless An honourable vicar. As a son of a vicar, I could never have believed. But your refreshing attitude woke me up. We stand in the face of invasion. Welcome to the faction. Good. Good. It seems like everyone's getting the message that it's aliens. Psst. This might have sent Freddy over the edge. Ah. <laughs> you should speak to her. You should speak to her. You should speak to her. Uh, uh, you should speak to her. Uh, she's gone. All right. Psychiatrist. Yeah. Hi, Freddy. Speech therapist. <laughs> Bugger. Well, there's no need for that kind of language. It's just the, the self-serving narcissist. Is that the captain? Oh, I thought she was talking about me. She would say you. Is that you just say you, you mean the captain? Are you talking about me? Because I'm very sensitive. He's vetoed us from publishing any mission details. Lots of threats. Lots of consequences. Freddy, we can't be bullied. We should absolutely yeah. publish what we have learned. Give me an hour. I can write a report and have it at the printers before he can say spyness. Hang on, Phil. It might be worth thinking about those threats and consequences. Two people died, Mike. I Did vote to publish a report on the mission. I vote to not publish a single so. word about that mission until we know more. Damn it, I don't know. Like Look, what's your gut feeling? Print <laughs> it! What's your butt feeling? <laughs> what's your butt feeling? Yes, thank you. It's good to have some support. Are you always such a maverick, Luke? Yes, Mike. A cool maverick. Everyone else seems to like it. <sighs> Kelsey also heard. But yeah. <laughs> well, perhaps now is Thank the time you, to play things a bit safer. Mike. Sorry. And Angel would think. We don't actually know what happened on that boat. We know that the cable was attached, 
and then it was not. And Wiseman and Trent were lost at sea. That's not a scoop worth risking our relationship with the Navy for. And what would we actually write? Why would you no, want a relationship we with, don't the want, we can't this the with the Navy? With the Navy. With the Navy. It looks like a big octopus with an alien face. You're not watched, Vigil. They don't trust the Navy throw as far as you can throw them. Uh, um, like something from the movies. Maybe. The only people who potentially saw it are dead. How do we know that it didn't look like the Russians? Or the Japanese? Or the Chinese? I'd never dream of printing that without any certainty. Exactly. So what else could we print? Look, how do you think this thing, whatever it is, cut the strongest wine known to man clean off? Teeth. Teeth. It certainly wasn't achieved with any man-made tool. You're a man-made tool. Here's the big question. Why? <laughs> Why did it do this? Because we invaded its territory. Anything we write will be speculation at best. Mm -hmm. We could go ahead and suggest there is a menace of the deeps. Good story. Scary thought. It might even be true. But blowing the lid on something like that to soon risks our integrity. We've all seen how quickly those crazy letters pile up. The hate mail. That's a great point. <laughs> Saying all that, I definitely think that publishing nothing at all is wrong. We should write a tribute to wise men and trap without any mention of the mission. Sure, the tribute might not send the fan mail through the roof, but printing half knowns will only add further speculation and paranoia that we can't control. It's about playing the long game. The long game is precisely why we should publish everything we have learned. Phyllis is right. We went on that mission to find out more about the fireballs. Luke, Weissman and Trant showed you that map. What did that tell us? Uh, they all fell into deep water. ocean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All the fireballs fell into deep water. Precisely. The Navy already knew this and sent to people into that deep water where the fireballs landed. And the wires this were goes cut. All the way to the and top. they never came back. That's Our right. job is to hold actions accountable. Exactly. Here's the headline. Yes. Navy mission to explore mysterious fireballs goes wrong. To Otinograph is Yeah. Death. Mm. That suggests a link between their deaths and the fireballs. That might be the case. And if yeah. so, that means there is someone. Something down there. I mean... And not publishing that. That's not screaming our witness to the world. That's another great point. <laughs> we might stop more deaths. We have to play the long game. So, what do we do? That's a great I agree. I agree we should publish something. But how much shall we include? Look, final decision. What do you think? Full report or basic tribute? Full report. Oh, report. Full report. Full report or basic tribute? Full report, Freddy. Okay, so we include what we learned about fireballs only falling in deep water. This is the right direction to go in. Freddy, are we all okay with this? Mike? I trust you, both of you. What about the fact that the wires were cut <clears throat> rather than broken? Captain Winter said that's the crux of it. They worry about that information being leaked. Then we should definitely leave it out of the report. If they were cut, that's even more reason to get this information out into the open. There's Luke, a... should we include the fact that the wires were cut too? Yes, there's a public interest, right? The people need to yeah, know about yeah. these Kraken's. Yeah. Absolutely. bloody lootly Okay. <laughs> Only the brave. Really? Luke, oh, all right, you're you done, Muriel. Okay. Weisman and Tran for quite a while. <laughs> Muriel's before the clocking mission. off. What were they like? What did you think of them? They were nice. I was in love with both of them. How did they seem before the mission? Nervous. Nervous. They told me that the Navy was planning on killing them to That's cover up the aliens. That's not surprising, knowing what they did. Why do you think they risked their lives for this mission? 
They trusted the Navy. They trusted the Navy. That's right, Ellen, yes. They trusted them. The one thing oceanographers should never do. Yeah. No one knew it would end that way. They will be remembered well. I think we've got enough to write the report now. We are going for the no detail spared cold hard mission report. Lord help us. Get it to the printers by 5 p.m. We'll run it tomorrow. We'll pick up a copy on our way down to Cornwall. And that reminds Cornwall. me, Luke. This is for you. Oh, an invitation. An oh. invitation. I've been invited on your honeymoon. Thought this might happen. <laughs> My aunt died last year and we inherited a house. Thought we'd make the most of it. Be there or I'll never invite you again. Rose Cottage, Cornwall. Yeah, that'll be... That narrows it down. Yeah. I'm sure, sure there's, there's only, only one. one Rose Cottage in Cornwall. Freddy, Thanks. are you coming? Oh, I can't make it. Sorry. Hmm. Whoa. Looks like Luke will have to deal with my friends alone then. Can't wait. But, Freddy, we didn't tell you when it is. <laughs> the Kraken <laughs> Way. The Kraken Way. Oh, my God. I have absolutely no idea how much of this game there is. Mm-mm. Swimmy swim. Crunch swim. Crunch. I would like to see a Kraken before we finish Yeah. Joel Fire says, games are back, everybody. <clears throat> What's that? Oh. Is it a Kraken? <gasps> Is it a person? I hear screams. It's a ship. It's a ship and it's all sunk. It's all been all sunk up. Oh, no. It's the fateful Titanic. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The ship is... The ship is floating. Oh no! Where was the Kraken? I can't see a Kraken up, anywhere. Up, up, up! I think the, the thing goes up. Oh god, I thought it was just finished. Oh, it is finished. Oh, it is finished. There is. And everyone agrees. <laughs> Just started screaming again. That's great. That's good. Birthday party then? Yes, Rose Cottage. Here we go. Yeah. Wow, it's so beautiful. Dear Luke, nobody go around the house to the back door. Rude. Why is it only written to you? Isn't I'm it all of her friends guest. are going? You're the only guest. Mike. Oh no, I'll have to deal with all of my friends. <laughs> so Mike and Phyllis have invited me on their honeymoon to their cottage in Cornwall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice secluded cottage. Okay. Oh, you can 100% no one can see you from this garden. Yeah. So, uh... We've got total privacy here, Luke. Yeah. We can just be ourselves. Ring bell. Ring bell. Oh, she's got a friend. <laughs> oh, you good. Can't it. wait to meet this Great person. Great to see you. Welcome. I just don't understand why it's called Rose Cottage. Tuni, this is Luke. Our friend. Our friend. Our best friend. Hello, Tunny. Luke, help me out here. Do you see any roses outside there? Mm, no. No. <laughs> exactly. I like you. And yet, it's called Rose Cottage. Wow, Tony. According to you're Phyllis, a riot. In Cornwall, Rose doesn't mean Rose. It means Heath. Then I don't see why you don't call it Heath Cottage. To make it plainer. Or even plainer. Up on a bloody great hill. Oh, whoa, oh, no. I was worried the taxi wouldn't make it up here. <laughs> this is Harold. I guess when my great aunt was naming the place, up on a bloody great hill cottage didn't come to mind. It's a lovely place, Phyllis. Happy birthday. 
I wish I'd brought Happy her some birthday. roses. Thank you know what? Hello, hello, hello. My name's Harold. I'm married to Tunny. Speak with Tunny and Phyllis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Luke. My sister Claire was meant to be here too, but the lucky devil is on the most marvelous cruise. The Queen Anne. No! <laughs> no! Are you a fan of cruises, Luke? Not She's since not I started investigating anymore. Krakens. <laughs> Crack UNs. <laughs> You're mad. They're divine. All those lovely cabins. Wasted. Does Claire read the papers? We always support your little projects, Phil. You won't believe this. Four hundred people didn't turn up for the cruise. You've caused you won't chaos believe with this. the report about the, the mission. The same week that fireballs start pouring into the ocean, Loads of people didn't show up for our cruise holiday. Weird! <laughs> Weird that. Luckily my sister went on it. I'm sure she's fine. Speak with Harold and Mike. So what's the story with you two? Harold, what's up with your neck? I was just telling Mike here he should get a boat. Oh, sit like this in London. Yeah. Okay, is that the end of our Are conversation? Are you a boater? Luke. <laughs> Not since I started investigating Krakens. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, of course. Sorry. What's a stupid question? I read about the little boating accident you witnessed with the Navy. But you have to get back on the horse. Do you have a double garage here, Mike? I haven't measured it. Plenty of room for a boat. Maybe one day. I just need to check on the spinach puffs. <laughs> So, Luke, you work with Phyllis and my ABC post. How are you finding it? Uh, how are you finding it? Um, I hate it. I'm gonna be honest. Ouch. I thought we were keeping you well entertained. That surprises me. What with that report on the bathyscope you published? It's all very clever. All of that ambiguous cables were cut. Not broken stuff. Such a great tale. Yeah, I feel like no one takes my work seriously. Judy, remember. Is this the character the or you speaking? The fireballs have near enough stopped. The reports have certainly slowed. The Navy have probably warned people off contacting you. You three are the Navy's enemy number one. Seems that way. Help yourself to drinks, everyone. Ah. Those With... fireballs were like a virus. All anyone could talk about. That's you not do know all this is a stunt from the Russians, don't you? Uh oh. Tony's a fireball. <laughs> Let's change the subject. What roads did you take to get here? Did you come down the. Uh... Unless they're trying to wake the Kraken, that could be a thing. Everything is Blasting them. things from space to wake up the Kraken. The little attack on the Navy you witnessed. So far, they only killed one man on one Navy mission. But they're just flexing their muscles. Well, this weekend is going great, Phyllis. Um, thanks for inviting Tunny. She's a riot. Um, yeah, so what what car do you drive? Just, you know, keeping it light. Actually, mm -hmm. there were two people that died. Oh. Really? <laughs> Must have missed that bit. Don't worry. So they won't God, touch drive. Two people died. What the Russians want is confusion. Confusing the masses is the first stage to them gaining control. And you, BBC Post, walked right into their trap. Fireballs falling in deep water only. What's that telling us? The masses are completely confused. If the Navy had looked a bit harder on that Bafiscope mission, I bet they would have found the Russian projectiles. Or the... Fireballs, as you lot have named them. You really believe that? They're not. Yes, I do. What do you think caused the fireballs? They're not as competent. <laughs> Journalists are exhausted. As that we've They're learned. <laughs> to be of honest, course. it's not your fault. They're not competent enough to the do something like that. Wild. Deep from the top echelons of the media. I think you're doing a fine job, Luke. I read that report about the fireballs only falling in deep water. Drilling stuff, and That's it foul. makes sense. I work in shipping and my guy saw a lot of them on the deep water route. 
Just like oh, you, you sounded like the BBC I thought you were like a walking stereotype of a taxi the driver. The change, but the shackles are the same. I feel sorry for you. Ellen, I feel like I'm losing my grip on reality. Yeah, this is this is ping ponging all over the place. This conversation. Uh, the. You know what? This is like an AI wrote a version of like those kind of like late night conversations where it's like, mm -hmm. well, time for bed. Where like someone at the party is just like, you know, it's like, I'm it's done like, with the weird political just, stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, it, oh no, the flat earth has, how are the spinach has come pups out. Coming Let's along, go Mike. to bed. <laughs> You're probably restricted from publishing certain <laughs> things without even knowing it. I'm actually surprised you were even allowed to publish that about the Navy mission. Top class they did. mongering. Who's your editor there at the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is that a chaffinch? I... Well... I think, I think, I think it's, I think we do have to call it a day. <laughs> You're out there somewhere, Kraken. We'll get you, we'll get you yet, Kraken. You're out there, waking. Waking up. They're still talking to you. <laughs> just, just shout, I'll get you, Kraken. I'll get you, Kraken. Okay, get, okay you, get you, Kraken. Get you, Kraken. Get you, Kraken. <laughs> okay, get you, Kraken. They're I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what they're on about. No. Just, this is peaceful. This is nice. This is lovely, lovely sound of the ocean. Well, my favourite bit of this adventure is whenever you said anything they didn't want to answer and they just carried on. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Bananas. I would hope. I would have hoped that the voice recognition was a little bit better on the word Kraken. Yes! Uh, and on... And, like, the name... Arno, yeah. like, the guy at the beginning, or uh, what was his name? Like, you know, like, they just could You couldn't recognise yeah. the name. And I'm like, don't give them names that you can't... But, uh, but, 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 mm, but, I would all... But, I would, I would... To, to, to crib from feel. Mark Kermode, <laughs> I would always Whatever. rather play a game that is trying something wild and hasn't really stuck the landing than a game that is boring and super safe. Yes. So, I don't know if that's true, actually, because there are a lot of super safe games that are very good, like Tetris. But, yeah. but... And I mean, this is just copying fine. the storyline of an already established novel, so... Yes. Yes. All of the, like, the interesting things are from the novel. <laughs> but... 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 Gas balls. Bye. Gas balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks Which, for watching. What show of the week? What show of the weekend tomorrow? <laughs> this was, yeah, this was, this was so odd. This was, was so, so weird. odd. What right. a way to end a Friday. Stare into the sun. Let the kraken take me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Have a lovely weekend. Look after yourselves. What show of the weekend tomorrow? Please, bye, 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 bye,